Hey everybody, Chris here. I'm going to show you how to, to, to potentially fix a, a Honda CRV. This is a 2000. If your battery is constantly dying or draining, at least I found one potential cause, so we'll walk through that. So this is the this is the butte with the the hood open. So the, the the problem that I was having was the battery was constantly draining over the course of a day or two, right? So classic story, I'd get home on a Friday, uh, wouldn't wouldn't get out of the house all weekend in the car, and come Monday morning the battery would be drained. Um, if I caught it quick enough, I could recharge the battery, but if it sat, especially with this COVID stuff, uh, it's kept me at the house for a while, so I'd that's when I, it really uh, it, it hit hard. So I'd sit for a week with the the battery uh, discharging and it would drain down enough. And so I worked through a couple batteries. Over the last year, I've had three batteries in this car. And so finally I figured I'd look into it a little bit. So I found this, uh, stumbled onto this fuse box that contains uh, the door lock unit, which you can see right there. So this is the box. It's got one, one latch right here. Pretty easy. You just push it back, pull it up. That's the only latch. There's some hooks in the back, but it comes right up. You can see right there. It's going to hook into those little holes. Uh, but it's the number. It's the middle slot, number five, and it wants a 20 amp fuse. Is what what it's rated at. You can look at the the lid here again. And so I just uh, I pulled that out. Okay. What we're going to do now is a little slow motion test. I'm going to. Pull the fuse out, put the fuse in in slow mo. The loud clicking, well, sounds epic in slow motion, but that's the sound of the locks engaging and engaging. Essentially, when I put the fuse in and when I pull the fuse out, it's going to make that sound. And that was the that was the mechanism that was firing off randomly, even when the car wasn't turned over. So when we sitting in the garage, I'm pretty sure those locks were just firing. Like uh, those, the shortened system was was draining the battery. Anyway, hope you enjoy this part. Okay, we'll go ahead and put this back on. Pretty easy. You can just not hard to do one handed, just gotta get it back. This is gonna snap, it's in place. Uh, got the spare fuse, keep it under the under the dashboard in the spare fuse area. And uh, that's it. This thing sat for a week, no discharge. I got a battery uh, voltmeter, was able to test it. And uh, yeah, no no drain, the thing starts right up. And uh, of course the proof is in the pudding, so this thing's been sitting for three or four days. Let's turn it over, see what it does. All right, so we're going to put the key in ignition. Turns right over. All right, that's it. So uh, I did do a little bit of house cleaning over the weekend. You can see, uh, if we look at the mileage on this beast, see if I can zoom in. Yeah, a little over 300,000. It runs pretty well. I'll do another video just overall on this, but um, CRV has been handy. I've, I have run into some uh, just basic maintenance issues, right? You got 300,000 miles on a car and uh, uh, you're going to know it. I think I'm running, that's my second second radio or CD player. That one's dead. So I just use my smartphone now. But uh, the problem that I was having was it started when I the windows stopped working, the power windows. And of course I had to be able to have this driver's side window fixed. So I took it to the shop, they fixed it. And then immediately after that, I started having problems with my lock, my door locks, um, where they would, they would either, I think there was a short where they would, they would lock all by themselves, which is problematic. And then if my, my key wouldn't always be able to lock it. So I was, I was finding myself fighting with the, uh, you know, the bat, the rear ones were especially bad, but there was real resistance. Um, and sometimes I get them all locked and then they all pop back up. So I think there was a short, that's what I've, that's what, I, that's, that's what I believe. I uh, read some articles online, some blogs, and um, you know, discovered that I wasn't the only one with this door lock issue. It is an old car. I suspect maybe there's some wires that are across somewhere where the, the door opens. Anyway, problems resolved, car runs. It's sat for several days now without, without having been started and no drain on the battery. I'm gonna turn it off. And that's it. So if you find yourself with a, a Honda CRV 2000, I think 98s are the same, maybe 2001. Um, yeah, just uh, try 
replacing the fuse or pulling the fuse out. You don't have to replace the fuse because the fuse doesn't blow, but just pull the fuse out so that your door locks won't, they won't work any longer automatically, but I can manually lock them no problem at all. There's no resistance. So I don't mind manually locking them. And then the last door out, I just use the key. The fob stopped working years ago. So anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, it's a beautiful day out here in Wasilla, Alaska. Thanks for watching. Take care as always. And uh, we'll see you next time.